Hey everybody, we are playing Dark and Light, and today is the special day where we will finally go get that Infernus Dragon. So here on screen, uh, you're seeing me make the Infernus Saddle gathering the materials, and today is going to be another one of those episodes where I'm kind of talking over my gameplay because I was too lazy to actually record myself doing it live, but I basically did this like a couple hours ago. But guys... Yeah, we're gonna go over to that dragon island and we're gonna try to get an Infernus dragon. It shouldn't be too hard. I've heard in the kind of like the latest updates, they like nerfed it pretty hard because of some bugs and glitches and apparently it's not that deadly. Basically, a griffin is more deadly than the Infernus dragon. But you know what, we will see. So of course, uh, we're gonna get some gear together, get all our arrows, get our feeding trough and try to get some food together. Now... Here's one mistake that I made, which you'll see in a minute here, but to tame an Infernus Dragon, normal stone arrows actually do not work. You need iron hook arrows, specifically. You, you need the iron hook arrows. The stone hook arrows actually don't stick to the Infernus Dragon. You kind of just shoot at it. It doesn't do anything. Only the iron hook arrows actually do that. And I made that mistake. You'll see me here. I got the Infernus Saddle, so of course... I'm going to be heading over there with one of my flying mounts. And I get there, and I'm not able to. So I had to run all the way back and make like 200-something iron hook arrows to actually get it. But here we are on the island finally, and I always notice in furnace dragons on more of the west side of the island. I don't know if that's like geographically correct, but over on this side that you're seeing on screen right now, basically where the giant skull is down by the shore. For some reason, the Infernus Dragon is always there fighting some elementals or some of the Scorpi Scorpita things. And here, I'm having a screen. I'm having a bit of a hard time finding it. And I did bring my Nidhogg, by the way. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have died, so I just brought my Nidhogg. Anyway, but we're here kind of looking for it, and at first I don't see it, but then bam, pops right into view, the beautiful creature. And if you guys remember a couple episodes ago, I think it might have been last episode, like when we first saw the Furnace Dragon, it's actually right in the same spot. And what I'm going to be doing is leaving my Nidhogg up here on the skull, or bones or whatever, because nothing can get to it, basically. The only thing that could kill it is the Furnace Dragon, but of course I'll be taming it, so it's not going to be not going to be able to get up there and kill it uh but here i think this is my first attempt but before we actually get to it there's a fire lord that was blocking my way that was super super annoying so of course got to take care of him and like i said uh probably last episode of the day or the day before when we first fought one of these they kind of like they look really big and tough and they're like oh they're the advanced fire elementals they're actually not that tough now, another thing about the Infernus Dragon is I brought a lot of these entanglement spells just in case. Because I thought, well, every other creature needs them. The Infernus Dragon is supposed to be like a giant beast. I'm probably going to need these. Actually, you don't need them. At least in the current update that I'm in, you actually don't need them. And you'll be able to see it on screen here. Now, in the first five seconds, it actually does hit me with its fire breath. But legitimately, after this first time that it hits me, it never really hit me again for I don't know what reason. But yeah, right here, I don't know, I just kind of like panicked and got hit by it. But basically, you can just run around under its stomach. But if you see here, I'm shooting stone arrows at it. I fail a lot of them, but see, they're just not sticking, which is a little bit weird. And of course, I did some Googling after that. A lot of people thought it was a glitch. But no, basically, what you need is iron hook arrows to actually get it. I thought it was a bug at first. So... Of course, I went back home, uh, got a lot of like the magic essence, which is really expensive, but I ended up making a bunch of iron hook arrows because, of course, this beast isn't cheap. It's not. I knew it wouldn't be, but I got some. Now, here we are ready to actually take down an Infernus Dragon. Now, the one mistake that I also did make, or another mistake, is that I didn't really bring enough food for this big guy, uh, but basically, once I tame him, I... Put in a couple of the carnivore feed, then I go back and grab some more meat. But here, this is the start of the taming. And just like I said, you basically just stay under its stomach. It's, I don't know if it's maybe targeting something else, but it sure isn't targeting me. Like, I don't know if this is like a brain dead Infernus Dragon, but it's basically shooting where I was a minute ago. 
so I don't I don't know if the rocks are confusing it if the rocks are confusing it then when you guys tame this in your own game make sure to come to these rocks because apparently these rocks really spook it and it doesn't know what to do when there's rocks about so I don't know but basically I just sit under its stomach pump a bunch of iron arrows into it and surprisingly it doesn't take that many I thought it'd take at least a couple hundred um you'll see here it only takes about like a hundred so it's not too many surprisingly so the one sad thing is although this is like a big fire dragon once I actually got it I didn't feel as accomplished as I should have just because this thing I probably could have came here when I legitimately first unlocked these iron hook arrows just came down and taken it down um, but you know what it's also a low level eight I th I'm pretty sure it's a low level I mean, I've only seen two, and they were both level 8s, I think. So maybe I'm just delusional, but... Yeah, after circling around for, what has it been, two minutes? It'll fall down in a minute here. But at this moment, it's it's looking pretty weighed down, as you can see. It's looking pretty weighed down. Just flying around on its stomach. So I, I don't know. Uh, hopefully developers patch it up a bit, make this an actual prize once again. But here you could kind of see it falling, and bam falls on top of the rocks it is knocked out we get our uh trough out and i will get out in in between taming i did get more food and stuff uh but we're gonna skip right to the after tame because no one wants to see that little bar go across but as you can see now it is nighttime which actually makes it a lot cooler because like the fire kind of sticks out but here you could see its stats aren't super amazing it's not like a big beast like i thought it was but i'm still pretty proud of it we can finally say we got an Inferno Dragon, and it is one of the coolest creatures in the game, especially to show off. And its fire attack is just cool. Now, here's the thing about the fire attack, is I thought it would be a lot stronger, but I know that's one of the things that they nerfed, is its fire attack. But you can see here, I'm going to try to shoot at a, uh, this Fire Lord. I end up hitting the uh, Scorpida, but you can see it, it, it does okay damage. It's not like, wow. Uh, but here you can see it in the daylight. So, it's definitely cool. I, I think the thing that makes it as cool it is, as cool as it is, is just the sheer size. I mean, look at its wingspan. Look at it compared to the Nidhogg. This thing is like a good 10 times bigger than that Nidhogg, which is busted. So, just the sheer size of it makes it kind of something to show off. But, of course, the Infernus Dragon is nothing compared to the Paragriff, which is, of course, the uh, evolved elite version of the Griffin. But... One day we will get that, but now that creature, that creature is something to behold, truly. That is a hard creature to get, which I actually have seen someone with it on, like, a multiplayer server. So, guys, I gave in. I did end up going to multiplayer server, but I'll tell you guys in a little bit. But next thing we are going to do is, obviously, get my Nidhogg back, because I left it back at the island. But the last thing that we're going to do today, I know today's a little bit of a short video I'm sorry about that but I thought today I'd really focus on the Inferno Dragon and the Volcano Dungeon just like we went into the Ice Dungeon and kind of previewed it I thought might as well preview the the Lava Dungeon, Fire Dungeon, Volcano Dungeon whatever you want to do so we're gonna go like the first maybe 10 to 20 feet in and just see what's up now I had a little bit of issue because it's kind of a funny story so I brought my Nidhogg with me right and I didn't exactly know where this dungeon was at first. So I basically kind of like rode around for a while and I accidentally went too high. And I started burning up, which you'll see in a minute here. So yeah, you can actually see on screen right now. I went a little too high. So in my delusions, I thought maybe if I go in the water, it'll cool me down. No, apparently water does nothing to your temperature, which doesn't make any sense to me. But that's basically it. You can see I'm almost dead here. But there's Fire Lords there. At this moment, all I cared about was getting my Nidhogg to safety. So in my quick thinking, I brought the Nidhogg up here where nothing can reach it. I tried to recall, but I died right before the recall hit. But all that's important is my Nidhogg is safe. Because I can recover my body, but if that Nidhogg dies, I can still recover that Nidhogg. But not as easily. So you can see here, I got my griffin, my big boy. At this point, my griffin's like my main bird to get jobs done. So I came back and tried to get my body. You can see I kind of lured the fire elementals away so I could go and grab my body and then get back on the griffin and head up to the rock. 
So that's kind of like the Volcano Island for you. But of course, I'm going to get off, get the Nidhogg all followed up, bring the Nidhogg back and the Griffin back, get back on the Nidhogg and head back to the Volcano. And then we'll kind of get our first glimpse at it. And this is basically just like the Ice Dungeon, but fire. They, it has a boss at the end, which is kind of super spooky, and you can get armor from it. And there's goblins, which are like, there's the ice goblins, but in here there's the fire goblins. And one thing you'll see is fire waverns, which I didn't realize. And those are aggressive. I didn't, I didn't realize waverns could be aggressive, but apparently in the fire dungeon, they are. And now the, the entrance looks really, like, scary, because I, I would think walking through lava would burn me, but apparently not. <clears throat> But spoiler, we don't actually make it that far into the cave. You'll see me here trying to run around, but I don't really end up going that far. Now, like, right when you walk in, there was like 20 fire goblins, like fist clan goblins. And these things, I'm sure, could knock me out in one little thing. So I got super spooked, but you know what? I wanted to get the scoop on this dungeon, so I straight juked them. I kind of made him walk up, and then I kind of just juked him and ran. But guys, this is basically in like the next 20 seconds I'm going to be ending the video because I have to recall because I'm going to die. So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me tame the Infernus Dragon. Once again, it was kind of disappointing how easy it was, but maybe they'll patch it and it'll be easy. But here you can see fire wavens, which are super spooky, and they start shooting fireballs at me. So I'm like, you know what? Nope, I'm out. But guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as opposed to the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.